welcome to Some Ideas Bastards. I'm Mark Storrs, and with me as always is... Blam, Blam Camp. And... <laughs> Nervenskirk. Yeah. And your name is Mark? Yeah, Mark. Okay. Week. Thanks week. for checking out our channel, The Some Ideas Bastards. Uh, this week we're looking at Mission Impossible Fallout. <sighs> what number is this? Is this Five. eight? It's gotta be. Normal. I was just telling Five the guys six, the only seven. Mission Impossible I've ever seen has been the first one, which is garbage. And I haven't yeah. seen anything. Else. Dangles, Cruz, and Brian De Palma yeah. boring your tits. Two off. was I think the John Woo one. Yeah, which was also equally yeah, disappointing exactly. because it was his but first it was, like. Big but it was American at least better, film. and it wasn't this convoluted weird. It was mess. better. Right. Yes, but hey, I'm interested to check this trailer out. So here we go. Should you choose to accept it? All right, that's dramatic. I wonder, did you ever choose not to? The body the end you always feared is coming. And the blood will be on your hands. The fallout of all your good intentions. You had a terrible choice to make in Berlin. One life over millions. And now the world is at risk. This is the CIA's mission. If he had held on to the plutonium, we wouldn't be having this conversation. His team would be dead. Yes, they would. That's the job. understand what you're involved in. You need to walk away. Please don't make me go through you. How many times has Hunt's government betrayed him, disavowed him, cast him aside? How long before a man like that has had enough? Man, there's the all kinds of vehicles. I love it. That's terrifying. Ooh. That's not who we are. What's the up, Henry Cavill? That's the Superman I want to see. Yeah. Except that he annihilated everything. Oh, that was wicked! Oh my god. Jesus. So, how is he? Oh, you know. Same old Ethan. Danny. Best not to it's like Tom Cruise Weaver. That's action of the future. Things that hurt. Tom Cruise is, is unbreakable. <laughs> you're going to fuck up. You're going to look left when you should look right. You're going to yeah. fly. But that actually helps because it is like uh, Jackie Chan outtakes except... Real stuntmen are really getting hurt, but it seems pretty yeah. exciting. I but think, see, didn't, didn't he get hurt filming this? Didn't how, how could he Tom not? Cruise? I thought maybe I could be... I got hurt watching it. <laughs> Dude, yeah. that bathroom scene is terrifying. Oh, God. <laughs> We're all like... <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't even know what to he do. He gets thrown into the next dimension. Yeah, like, I, I'm not sure what happened. I think he got thrown into the movie Prince of Darkness I, he, by yeah, John Carpenter. That is so I mean. Where yeah. the nethers uh, live. Henry Cavill just shows up in his Rex yeah. house. That's, oh, how, that's how Superman should be. Terrifying. He's yeah. gonna come to that door and he's gonna have it with you. That guys. is fucking and not scary. I've already lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was all right. Again, I don't know much about the Mission Impossible franchise. Always in the first this one. Looks but fun. That looks cool. Action it looks packed, really yeah. cool. Insane. Insane over the top action. I like. I do. And when they do it as well as they're capable of doing now, and that's where blockbusters now have value. Blockbusters. Uh, I'm gonna give a brief history lesson in my own mind. Started dying in the '90s because. The technology hadn't really evolved, with the exception of like Jurassic Park and a few touch, you know, touchstones like that. And that's why the indie film got big again because humanity and emotions and that mattered. Well, the technology finally fully caught up, and now blockbusters are a real legitimate. No, no, it took a few years, and it's been that way yeah. for a while because it now you can years, see the things but... you dream of with no wires, yeah. with no yeah. artificiality. And, and that's why superhero films are now at their zenith, why sci-fi films, when they're done right yeah. now, they're zenith, and why action films, the unsung genre that is using CGI, 
can just... I mean, we all love Dukes of Hazard and stuff when we were like little younglings. Where, where things jumped and cars flipped and stuff and then broke their shit. But now it's just absolute madness. It's, yeah, it's bedlam. And so it's a really great time to love blockbuster cinema. There's, I have a place in my heart for indie cinema. It's always going to be great. I love dirty little horror films, especially from Italy. Oh, Bless yeah. your heart. But they haven't said blockbuster cinema has never been better. Yeah, when they get it or right. Bigger. Or better, or more, be- more. I don't know. Yeah, deftly executed. No, they tried. Like, like the last Bastion was like Die Hard. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. But every Die Hard died a little, and I mean that pun intended, I guess. Die Hard Two blew. We all know. Die yeah, Hard that, Three that, that, was that, all right, right because it was so much better it, than Die it Hard Two. Bad. But it was it bad. bad. But by yeah. the time they finally get to the kid who was in Dodgeball, and he's like, "Did you just hit a helicopter with a car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have bullets." You know, the one liner yeah, Bruce no, Willis got a little weird. hair may have. Yeah. But that's the kind of crap you had to leave behind. That and your goddamn Con Airs and you're the rocks. No, I know you had a few. 90s. But you had a few, you had a few in that decade. Like Ar- I still Armageddon. Like, Armageddon was good. Armageddon I was, was stressed. Just, yeah, yeah. Armageddon completely was stressed. stressed. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. hold up as a classic. No, no, but, but at but, the time, yes, it was the. But but that's why I say in the nineties it felt like the blockbuster yes. was on. Did they support. have the classic Aerosmith song? Right. Yeah. 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 I don't know if it, yeah, it was classic great. is dubious. So there's about a good six seven years it was garbology. But that until like ninety nine or whatever until like the Matrix came out. Right. And it was yeah. like, oh. And then there was a lot of crap that imitated the Matrix, but now we are literally living, yeah. I, I would say in the mid-2005s on, it started getting better. Now that we're near the end of the 2010s, which is weird, it's almost 2020, I can't believe it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't even understand what's going on. The future. But blockbuster nice. cinema is just, it's at its apex right now. It yes. is. No, I'm not great. saying it won't go higher. The mountain might keep going. But it has never been this good. I need to. I really need to check these movies out because this trailer looks awesome. Dude, the fun. last couple of Mission Impossible's were really good. Yeah, I'm gonna make it. Actually, I'm gonna make it a point this week to watch a bunch of the Mission Impossible. The Brad Bird one was really, really, really a good, good ride. The, the, the J- Bird and, and the Abrams one yeah. were really. Good. Tom Cruise and his whatever aside. Well, listen, everyone can you know, make weird I mean, personal decisions. You know, it is what it is. Like, I don't. But I've never thought he was I'm a not bad apologizing actor. for him. But dude, I like him as an actor. Everything he's made in the last ten years, I, I've liked. Night and day. That was actually a, a really amusing it, ride. It was yeah, actually that was a hard movie. movie. Yeah. And, and cool. it's weird enough, like the Mummy was. I enjoyed the Mummy. That was actually I, that I walked bad. into that I, thinking yeah, I hated I it. That I, I know. It, it almost reminded me of the old Toby Hooper Life Force. It was, it was, it was like well a big zombie attack thing, though yeah. it didn't have as many hot naked female vampires walking around London, and it didn't have any Patrick Stewart. So obviously it wasn't as good as Life Force. Oh, well, yeah. no, Call pick of the week, yeah, but yeah. Mummy was actually a surprise. Yeah, fun it wasn't movie. bad. All right, cool. He All right, well, good movies. I maybe think poor that, uh, life decisions. Good movies. Yeah. Well, I guess I not know. life decisions, but philosophical yeah. decisions, yeah. possibly. Well, he did get a big. Uh, he, he got a big medal, the intergalactic star of. Tom Cruisery. Yeah. Right? We should all be what? so lucky. He got the Xenu Medal of he Freedom. Did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Whatever it that was, means. He got like a Flavor Flav clock size medal the for es- being like. Escape from the Nuke Mountain. I think he has. Ah! Whatever think, that yeah, is. I, yeah. if, if Tom Cruise started that movie, I would, I would go to see I it. think he Escape might. Escape from Nuke Mountain. <laughs> I, I think totally he has his own like OT level. That only oh, he achieved sure. because he paid millions for oh, it. Yeah, OT5. He's achieved more than anything. He is the Pope of Scientology. Real quick, I think one of our next retro trailers might be, um, not Planet Earth, uh, Battlefield Earth. I think. Oh they, my God, that's barely we, retro. We, we might be doing a Battlefield right, Earth trailer reaction. So and then there crawl. you have it. Thanks for checking crawl. us and out. And then Crawl. Crawl's already recorded. We did, did we do Crawl? Yes, we did Crawl. We did Crawl. Man, oh. I'm on the drugs. All time I am Robert. on drugs. Ginkgo Biloba, my friend. It'll help you remember. It does. Who are does, you? There you go. Let's do Crawl. Thanks for joining us for the Rest of My Ideas Bastards. Be sure David, to leave your comments in the section David. below. I love Crawl. Oh, it's right, because I, I, called, I called the Glaive a Crawl. You did. I remember that now. Yeah. I, I, I tried to I, did you, shame did you. Did you tell me that? Oh, yeah. You left it in there, didn't you? Crawl's the planet. I know it is. It's not even online you, yet. I'm anymore. embarrassed now. It's literally not online yet. Half the people out there don't even know what fucking Crawl is. Crawl is the planet. Remember that when you're watching it. And I admonish Rob for a second. But you know what I do know? I do know the Mentat <laughs> chant. You remember what that is? I don't it is by Will Lone. I set my mind in motion. It's about oh, the juice of sad food that the thoughts acquire speed, yeah, the lips yeah, acquire stains, oh the God. stains become a warning. It is by Will alone. I set my mind in motion. Thanks for joining us for some obvious bastards. <laughs> Mentats for life. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of wimpy, they all die. <laughs> I fucking know what's going Try on. Try that again. 
Thanks for joining us for the rest of my DS Bastards. Find us online at EMBPod.com, Facebook.com, slash EMBPod, Twitter at EMBPod. Be sure to leave your comments in the section below. Let us know what you thought about this trailer. Uh, and you know what? Also, too, give us some recommendations for some... Uh, retro some, trailers. Some, some newer... Well, retro trailers and also some retro. newer uh, action movies in and case you've been missing anything there. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, so Good be job. sure to upload the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and... Who's your favorite Mentat? Uzzel. He's not my Mentat. No, Mentat. he's not. There's really only two. There's Piter well, and Thufer. Uzzel was just the, the, the... He's like, what's your clan name? Yeah. Uzzel, Uzzel I think, is the secret Moadib. name. No, Paul, That's the secret Paul name. Moadib is the name he chose. He, yes. But Uzzel was the secret clan name. That was name. the secret name. Yeah. That's Doc, a, that's a, Dr. Right. Yui. Yeah, when he we started could go, we dating... We could go Dune all day. Yeah, he started dating the replicant. <laughs> yep. Gurney Hell. He's a replicant. But my really. young pup! Yeah, my God. young... And it goes yeah. back to Patrick Stewart. Sons of bitches. Yeah, you don't know what you're doing. Blade Mark doesn't know the shield. Oh, it does penetrate the shield. That yeah, was the I first. That, that was the first human representation in CGI. All right. Oh. There's your little historical. Are we gonna do Jurassic Park? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Or fuck do you yeah. Wait. Why not? We're here.